Rebecca Bobayan today, and that you just heard is Becca Godinez's music. She's here on Kababayan today. She uses her talent to raise much needed funds for Pedro, um, and she's here to talk about this event. But not only that, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to Becca because we haven't had you really on the show. No, like, you know. You had my husband. Yes, he's, he's been, been on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a very big community leader. Both of you are always active in the scene. Thank you, but yeah. Becca, you don't get enough props uh. for what you do and what you've done in the industry. And I want to make sure that people understand how incredible this woman is. Oh, thank you. Really? My dad said, do not display your trophies. Don't praise, you know, don't, you know let other people do it so really and sincerely um, I have a box of stuff under under in the garage somewhere but you know in the end when life as life goes people go oh oh you did oh you yes know, that's okay so back in the 80s yes. not too long ago you started this whole really this singer songwriter yeah uh, the first woman to do so. I did you know I went to school uh, I was already doing poetry sort of as a young girl and then when I went to school so states uh, there was an opportunity I went from I majored in theater and I minored in music and mm -hmm. when I was in music I got stuck in a you know rehearsing in a piano room and that's when it kind of started and um, then there was a production, just a local production of Alice in Wonderland. And I couldn't do the play. And so I went to the director and I said, can I write the theme song? And he said, sure. So I wrote the song, Alice in Wonderland. And he took it. And then he said, when is your, I had terms, term, um, my final exams and all that. And he says, come in a ball gown and we'll just put you in. You don't have to attend. Just come and sing the song and leave. And, and it, it created that. And so I wrote a bunch of songs then, and then I brought it to Manila when I came back. And um, Vic Del Rosario, who yes. was Viker Music, uh, saw me and a friend of mine one time, and he says, didn't you record with me before? I said, for a brief moment in time. He says, let me hear. So he heard one of the songs, and he said, that's a hit. But he had it translated to Tagalog. Look at that photo. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Becca, Bababu, <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, holy guacamole. <laughs> okay, that is from, um, uh, this is... Uh, my first album. Plaka pa. Yeah, darling. Plaka, at ano, nanay ni Albert Bataclan, ano, collection yan, di ba? Look at you, Becca. Yeah, I was like, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, you were there when it started, and yeah. you're still making beautiful music until now. Thank but you. But what's even more special is it's not just to make money. No. It's really to raise no. money. Yes. yes. Um, and, and that really, see, the thing is with Filipinos, uh, not I'm surprised to know that not a lot of us volunteer a yeah, lot. Yeah, I, I want to say something. Um, the the desire to help started before even Pedro. Uh, quietly, I used to say quietly, but now I'm kind of opening it up a little bit. I'm already on my third library. Um, we don't build the entire structure, but we go into impoverished areas and we pick out a school that has an empty shell of a classroom. And I started out in Lamintak in, uh, in Cebu, southern Cebu. And then uh, my second library was in uh, Camotes Island. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's just an amazing thing. I mean, So you're sending books home? Yes, and my third project is Catanduanes. But I do things, I'm not... As Tita Myrna knows, I'm not a joiner too much of organizations because I'm a control freak. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I want to say, no, I want to do it. Let's do it now. You yes, know? And but then, you've so, been doing it. Right. Right. And, right. And, and you haven't been talking about it no. or publicizing it because you just want to do it. Correct. But uh, we want to understand how important it is to be able to help, yes. you know? Um, and, and this is something that we talk about all the time as Kababayans. Oh, paano ba kayo tumutulong? How are right. you giving? back you Correct. know so I just wanted to really pay tribute to how thank you've you. used your thank talent you. thank you to help and I, I'm, I'm really excited about Pedro because in truth I went away from music for a while as you know I went mm -hmm. into the theater and I produced with Ted 
a friend of ours. Um, we co-produced Ballet Philippines and all that. And then I was very going, successful. Yes. Lots of people went in Pasadena. Yes, yes. and also in San Jose. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And it, it was nice to be part of something that makes the Pinoy proud. Yes. Diba? Ngayon, after <laughs> I was going, nami miss ko na yung music. <laughs> Kailangan ko ng kumanta. Oh. So when when uh, Tita Myrna uh, approached, I said, yeah, absolutely. It felt right. That's right. And it feels right that you're here on the show because thank really, you. I confide in this woman. I mean, thank you so much thank for all you. the advice you've given me. When we return on the show, we'll have more details about this event where Becca will be singing. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Because I couldn't.